One Punch Man Season 2 starts with a scene where we see Genos and Saitama return from their trip to the shop. They meet King, who is currently an S-Class hero. He presents himself as really strong but actually, he is a fraud. King is just a nerdy otaku who by accident ended up where monsters got killed so the people thought he killed them. Saitama and Genos run into King while he is running scared of some monsters. Saitama saves him before he gets killed. King remembers that Saitama already saved him in the past. Later in the day, Saitama and King play video games and Genos upgrades his gear so he gets stronger. After some time, the president of the Hero Association tells the others that Sonic has been hired even if he was a villain in the past. The hero meeting is interrupted by Guru who is a very scary villain. Guru starts to insult all the heroes and villains. He tells them that he will help the monsters win. All the heroes and villains attack him but he beat them up in seconds as he is that strong. Fubuki arrives at Saitama's house to invite him to join her faction. She attacks him but they have no effect on Saitama. He refuses to join her faction as he is not interested at all. In the meantime, Genos fights Sonic and they are equal in power. Genos charges for an ultimate blast but Saitama stops him as it would destroy his whole apartment. Fubuki also reveals that her older sister is Tatsumaki who is an S-Class hero. Fubuki wants to get strong partners so she can compete with her sister. Fubuki once again tries to get Saitama to join but he is not interested. Both Genos and Saitama get silly code names from the Hero Association. Saitama is known as Bald Cape and Genos is Demon Cyborg. Silver Fang starts to send away his students from his dojo because Guru has once again appeared. Guru was his original pupil and he wants to protect his current students from his wrath. One of his students named Karanko goes to Saitama and Genos after Silver Fang sends him away from the dojo. One night, Karanko sees Guru threaten Mumen Rider. Other heroes show up and Guru beats all of them, they barely survive the fight. The following day Saitama goes to visit Mumen Rider who is now in the hospital. Saitama is angry at Guru for hurting his friends. Saitama wants to learn more about martial arts so Karanko gives him an invitation to a tournament. Guru and Saitama meet up for the first time and Guru attacks him by mistake. Guru's attack has no effect on Saitama as he is too powerful. Saitama knocks out Guru with one single slight touch of the neck. Guru has always had a complex relationship with heroes, he thinks that it's unfair that the heroes always win and the monsters lose. He wanted to become strong to protect the monsters and give them a chance to fight back. In the present Guru wakes up but has no memory of fighting Saitama. Karanko gets insulted by Sour Face and Saitama comes to his defense. Saitama officially joins the martial arts tournament. In the meantime, the Hero Association wants to defend its heroes from monster attacks by using S-rank heroes. One of the heroes called Metal Bat has to protect other heroes and fight monsters at the same time. He gets attacked by the senior centipede and a monster called Raffle Sidon. Guru gets involved in the conflict and wants to fight Metal Bat. He attacks Metal Bat who just blocks his attack but just barely. Guru manages to defeat Metal Bat, even so, he admits that Metal Bat would have won the fight if he just hit Guru once. Metal Bat once again gets up and almost kills Guru but his sister Zenko stops the attack. Zenko tells Guru to stop fighting with Metal Bat and Guru listens because he has a soft spot for kids. The monsters start to run away but they are followed by Metal Knight. As time passes more and more dangerous monsters are directly attacking the heroes which makes the Hero Association really worried. In the meantime, Saitama has joined the fighting tournament and he meets some of the fighters. Their names are, Bakuzin, Lightning Max, Ring Ring, Chos, Zakos, and many more. Genos is in the crowd cheering for his master. Soon Saitama realizes that Zakos is weak and they get paired up in the first fight. People think that Saitama is also weak but everyone is shocked when Saitama slightly slaps Zakos and defeats him in seconds. Suryu, another fighter, is really excited to fight Saitama. Suryu fights Lighting Max and defeats him. Meanwhile, Genos receives a message that monsters are seen around the tournament. Suddenly the announcement is made that the crowd must leave as the monsters are attacking. Bakuzin tells the crowd that they can stay safe. The tournament continues while Saitama has gone to the bathroom. Saitama then fights Bakuzin and defeats him in one hit. Genos kills all the monsters but the last one gets away. Fubuki tries to prove herself to her sister but she fails and her sister tells her that having henchmen around her will only make her more weak. After a while Genos gets attacked by a mysterious creature that manages to defeat him. 
The monster is actually a dragon called Guketsu. Another S rank hero gets involved in the fight against the monsters. The hero is named Child Emperor and he tries to analyze the monster's poison to find a cure. Many heroes start to fight the monsters. At one point Haragirl decides to join Guru. She attacks her former master Atomic Samurai but he kills her in an instant. In the meantime, Saitama and Swaryu begin their fight. Swaryu tells Saitama that being a hero is boring and he should quit. He then attacks him full force but Saitama is totally unfazed by his attacks. Saitama gets angry at Swaryu for what he is saying so he decides to punch him but stops his punch just before it connects. The power of the punch causes Swaryu's clothes to be totally torn off. Saitama gets disqualified from the entire tournament and he also gets embarrassed as Swaryu manages to take off his pants. While that is happening Genos realizes that a giant monster is going to attack the tournament. A monster called Guketsu attacks the arena and Lighting Max and Snek get knocked out in the attack. Guketsu was a human but was changed into a monster. Swaryu starts to fight other smaller monsters that are also attacking and soon Guketsu tells his monsters to defeat all the martial artists in the arena. Just before Swaryu gets killed Lightning Mei and Snek save him. Mumen Rider and Tank Topmaster are trying to protect the hospital where Karanko is. Swaryu has no choice and he calls the heroes to come help. Saitama arrives just in time and saves Snack and Lightning Max. Saitama then prepares to fight Bakuzin. Saitama kills Bakuzin with one punch and then tells Swaryu that he is a hero and wants to meet a man called Guru and learn more about martial arts. Swaryu tells Saitama that they still need his help as Guketsu is still nearby. Saitama goes and kills Guketsu and tells Swaryu to not tell anyone about what he saw here. Swaryu wants Saitama to become his master but he refuses and leaves. After that is all done Saitama is really sad. He is worried that being a hero and learning about martial arts has still left him totally bored. King tells Saitama that he must focus on himself and what he truly wants. Elsewhere, Guru fights and gets defeated by Watchdog Man because his fighting style is so complicated and fast. Guru has no way to defend himself from that style. Guru spots King and decides to hit him but before he can do that Saitama knocks him into a wall. Saitama is really excited to meet that warrior who is hunting heroes, he still has no idea that he has knocked him out twice already. King and Saitama play video games and Saitama keeps losing. Creatures called Gyoro Gyoro and Districhloridum take over the hero association leaders and they try to create a future for both humans and monsters. Districhloridum kills the executive of the hero association and admits that he wants all the heroes to fight all the monsters in one giant battle. News gets out that the monsters in the city are planning to kill all the humans and panic starts to spread. The monsters are all killed by Saitama who is picking up garbage one day so their attack is stopped. Elsewhere, Guru wakes up from Saitama's kick and he is really tired to attack anyone else. Soon Death Gatling arrives with his hero crew and they attack Guru. Guru gets beaten badly and the heroes tell him to surrender. Death Gatling tells Guru that they want to take him down to earn some respect as heroes. Guru fights the hero squad and takes many of them down. Finally, Death Gatling is the only hero left standing. He plans to use his strongest move on Guru but Guru stops the fight. Guru explains that both Death Gatling and himself are very similar. Death Gatling does not believe him so he releases his ultimate attack but Guru manages to avoid it. In the meantime, King once again beats Saitama at their game which makes Saitama get all stressed out. Saitama and King get a call from Genos and they run to his location. It seems that Genos is fighting Guru in a brutal fight. Genos almost kills Guru but he escapes. Bang then challenges Guru to a fight to the death. Silver Fang and Bomb start to hit Guru with countless strikes. Genos also arrives and almost kills Guru and Phoenix Man but Elder Centipede joins the battle. Fang and Bomb manage to damage the Centipede monster but it's really strong. Genos also gets knocked out, he is very angry at himself for always getting beaten up. Saitama then arrives and kills the creature with his signature one punch. Genos asks his master Saitama why he is always losing. Saitama tells him that he needs more power and Genos promises to get better. In the meantime, Guru is too tired to keep fighting and passes out. He is carried by a monster to safety. The end. Thanks for watching. Please, like, subscribe, and click the bell icon to get new anime recaps.